Let's do this. I'm sad for you a lot, and he's playing go out for you. And the children have all been left out and rest there. All one of them. Some children, are some more kids, isn't it? Well, it's time for me to do a little bedtime story, because it's getting dark past it. And this one's a little story about a little girl called Cinderella. With their wicked stepmother and their two older sisters. Now, the only problem is when I learned this on my heart, I learned it all a little bit backwards, being dyslexic. So it came out like this. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Rinda Seller who lived with her stinky wet mother and her two sucky sisters, Mary Hinge and Betty Swallows. Now, there used to be a third super lister, but she died of an STD. Her name was Claire Midia. <laughs> now, the two super listers, they were right horrible hookers to Rinder Seller. They were, you know, every day they'd have Rinder Seller full in straws, weaning clingers, and shivelling shut. Every day by half past five, poor little Rinder Seller was knocking fuckered. <laughs> Now the two sublisters, they had tickets to go to this bouncy ball that was run by the Prance and Pins. But Rinder Seller didn't have a ticket. But her best friend Buttons, he had a spare ticket! It was Margaret Thatcher's. He said, Rinder Seller, you can't have this ticket because she wouldn't cook my sock. Later that night, Rinder Seller was all alone crying. To go to the booking fall. <laughs> when all of a sudden there was a mighty loud, great big booking fan. <laughs> Cinderella writ herself. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'm your gaming godmother. <laughs> and you shall go to the ball. <laughs> and with a wave of her wadgic mom, she turned a very small pumpkin into a cooking fuel challenge. <laughs> Muck fee, said Rinda Seller. <laughs> it's a cooking miracle. <laughs> The game mother said, Rinder Seller, you must be back by midnight or I'll pick your cooking head in. <laughs> Rinder Seller arrived at the ball at 7.30. On arrival, she spotted a fat man. <laughs> he was the pants and things. <laughs> they announced all died. <laughs> he tried his best chat up line on Rinder Seller. <laughs> You shall say a fact. <laughs> Before the cellar could answer, the clock struck midnight. And she was running out of the ball so fast, she tripped and fell mass over all of us. <laughs> Everybody pointed and laughed at Rinder Seller, shouting, Hey! You cook a right one! <laughs> but the Prance of Hints shouted, Bunker! <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even give me a job block. <laughs> yeah. Looking down, the Branson Hinn spotted the slash clipper. Picking it up, he said, Primark. <laughs> Whoever this flipper sits, I'm going to brag her shame down. <laughs> True to his word, the next day he went all around the land, docking on every hour. <laughs> Until he got to the house of Rinda Seller. He docked on her now. Mary Hughes answered, she said, fuck the wood be you one. He said, I've come to try this last slipper on your foot. If it fits, I'm going to brag your shades out. <laughs> Mary Hughes put her foot into the slash slipper, but it fit with it. <laughs> The prance of him said, thank fuck for that. <laughs> Over in the corner, he spotted Betty Swallows. She was uh, licking her feet. <laughs> she also said, fuck the wood be a <laughs> He said, well, if you just stop licking your feet for a minute, I'd like to try this last dipper on your foot. If it fits, we will be married. I'll brag your shades out. <laughs> Betty Swallows put her foot into the 
the slut slipper and again it filmed it. But she didn't give in. She tried pushing. But she pushed far too hard. Let out this big bar. <laughs> Stuck in feet, said the prancer limbs. Have you fussed jarters? <laughs> Over in the other corner, he spotted Rinder Seller, flubbing scores, weaving clippers, and shivering shut. He said, Can I try this last before we all put your feet fits? We will be married. Rinder Seller put her foot into the slash slipper. And it fitted fucking perfectly. <laughs> the prancer mince was overjoyed because he was surely gonna gag. <laughs> he dragged her in the cellar by the hand upstairs, threw her on the bed, and lads, he booked her frames out. <laughs> Turn out the light. I'll put one on, and then you can dump my sick. <laughs> she turned out the light and started to cook his sock. She said, I don't like that flavour. Is it cheese and onion? He said, no, I haven't put it on yet. <laughs> with the Jonex, sorry to wait. He started to make sweet, passionate love to Rinder Seller. She said, stop, stop, stop! I've still got my tights on. <laughs> they made love. Oh, mate. She said, funk in my space, you verted bastard. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't pull out in time and accidentally funked in her spanning. <laughs> <laughs> that won't do it last time. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting, <laughs> isn't it? Rinder Seller fell pregnant. Nine months later, when Rinder Seller was in labour, the parents of Vince and the pub, his friends getting kissed as a pub. When he received the phone call, he rushed straight to the hospital. On arrival, a doctor spotted him and said, Miss Evans, my friend, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> said, I am bringing for you, my friend. Very, 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 very good news. <laughs> Rinder Sell has just given birth to five babies. Five, you know, five, one baby. <laughs> In order for a woman to give birth to five babies, father must be very, very well stacked. <laughs> he said, well, Doc, <laughs> I will be honest with you, man's like a bleeding chimney stack. <laughs> he said, well, go home and have it sweat, because they're all black. <laughs> <laughs> And even though we're in the cellar, we spent the rest of her life with an extremely foam and swanny, they still live happy in the rafter. And one of their children were called Sarah. And we're all going to sing about Sarah now, because Sarah does a hell of a lot. She goes all over the world doing different things. And you can all sing along with this, it goes... Sarah, Sarah, sitting in the shoe shine shop. Sarah, Sarah, sitting in a shoe shine shop. All day long she sits and shines. All day long she shines and sits. Sarah, Sarah, sitting in a shoe shine shop. Now, are you ready, kids? We're going to do it at the correct tempo now. Sarah, Sarah, sitting in a shoe shine shop. Sarah, Sarah, sitting in a shoe shine shop. She sits and shines all day long. She shines and sits. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Is that one a bit hard? <laughs> Feel free to join in, you know. Kids are on the road, you know. You can I'm sing along if you like. It's really easy. This one's really, really easy. I'm Sarah, Sarah, sitting in the sewing shop. Sarah, Sarah. Sitting in a sewing shop, pay attention. All day long she 
fits and tucks all day long. She tucks and fits. Sarah, Sarah, sitting in a sewing shop. Sarah, Sarah, sitting in a sewing shop. Sarah, Sarah, sitting in a sewing shop. All day long she fits. <laughs> All day long she fits and trucks, all day long she tucks and fits. Sarah, Sarah, sitting in a sewing shop. I thought you were going to join me. Was that a little bit hard for you? Well, listen to this one, and this one's really easy. Sarah, Sarah, sitting on a battleship. Sarah, Sarah, sitting on a battleship. She sits on ships all day long on ships. She sits, Sarah, sitting on a battleship. Box, 